happy Thanksgiving to you and your snacker stars. It is me, 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 the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society coming at you with the gobbledygooker over here, Will Mahoney. <laughs> Snack time, Pally, or should I say, happy turkey day, Pally. And we got some snacking to do around our Thanksgiving table here this evening. That's right. Three big football games today, I think at least three, including the Redskins versus the Giants. I yes, hope indeed. that goes our way. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, we have lots to be thankful for this Thanksgiving, including the prosperous and wonderful year here with the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, the Snack Society, if you will. All the good things we've had to eat, all the good people we know, the good things that have happened to us, myself included, especially this past summer. And ladies and gentlemen, we have some things that we're going to grub down on here this Thanksgiving, we don't need no turkey, we don't need no pumpkin, we don't need no fooling around. <laughs> we got it all right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanksgiving dinner in the form of chips and soda. There you go, because all the fixins can be had in other forms, whether it be chips, whether it be spree tay, it's all available at your local convenience store, and we're going to find out about it right here. Literally got <laughs> our freaking... Thanksgiving here at 7-Eleven. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, my lovely lady got me these uh, chips here from 7-Eleven. Uh, we've seen something similar a couple years ago in the, in the Boulder Canyon line. Yes, indeed. These are from 7-Eleven Select, though. These are the turkey and gravy and pumpkin pie flavored kettle chips. Okay, so we got dessert and we got dinner. That's right. And then we got... On the side here, our, our cranberry. Our, oh, <laughs> in the form of Sprite. That's right. Now, I'm worried <laughs> about the Sprite because I had the Sprite cherry and I did not like it. I hope Sprite cranberry redeems the name of Sprite in my eyes. Okay. Outside of regular Sprite, anyway. But let's go ahead and start with turkey and gravy. Yeah, I would say the way to do this proper is we need to have that and this together and yes. then dessert. Exactly. So we need to do this, do this all together. We have that here. Let's get our Sprite. Our cranberry sauce dealed out right here as well. There you go. Get some of that ooh, on there. Ooh. You smell like cranberry? Nice fruity nose. Whoa, yeah it is. The Super fruity. The bouquet is very fruity. No uh, tint to it. Clear as can be as the Spree Tay tends to be. They're not trying to pull like a Cherry 7-Up deal here or anything. We have a friend, a longtime friend, who Sprite always crippled him. It always gave him the worst shoulder pain. Make your side hurt. Make your side hurt. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he was allergic or what, but it always messed him up. And, oh man, just the, the look of that gravy alone makes me wish that it had gravy in the bag. <laughs> gravy dipping sauce. Exactly. The, the first thing out of this Sprite is, has a huge scent to it. Yeah, I can smell it from over here. It's like super fruity. Super fruity. Yeah. Now, whether the flavors will ma match up to that, I don't know. Now, how about these turkey and gravy chips? They Wait. smell like a little bit of poultry and some uh, seasonings. Yeah, I can yeah. get that. Yeah. I mean, now this is our main course, so these need to be, you know, kind of, kind of banging here. Not particularly like shaded in any particular color, uh -huh. like it was actually dipped in the gravy. There's a couple of brown spots here or there. Some fleckage for sure. Yeah, a, a nice thick cut chip, kind of looking like, for to the eye, looking like a sour cream and onion chip. Yeah, to a the little eye. bit, maybe a slightly well done one. I don't know, lots of bubbles on there. Yeah. I'm guessing that's sage or something on there to give you that stuffing flavor. Yeah. Okay. And it has that kind of scent. Yeah. If you get right up in there. Let's see how it tastes. This is our main event. Whoa. Mmm. That is a thick chip. Tastes good too. Whoa, it that tastes like gravy. It does. That tastes like gravy. A lot of gravy. In yeah. Mmm. Mm. And they're really salty. Yep. And that's how I'm trying to replicate the turkey. And the gravy, I guess, mm. since we say it does taste like gravy, it tastes like turkey gravy. Yes, yes. So, you know, they very well could just dust it with a bunch of the McCormick powder turkey gravy mm -hmm. and got the job done. I mean, it mm. works pretty well. It tastes good. Oh, um, now I need to have some cranberry sauce with that to wash it down, mm. you know. So we put the cranberry sauce on your turkey. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Those two together. Oh, my God. That... 
<laughs> I know. It's Thanksgiving all of a sudden. It is. Oh my God, this is a hobo Thanksgiving. <laughs> right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, it totally matches the flavor. Wow. I literally feel like I just had a mouthful of turkey and I took a little bit of uh, cranberry sauce yeah. and washed it down or cleansed my palate with it a little bit. That's awesome. 7-Eleven, what have you done? I think they're better than the Boulder ones we had a couple oh, years yeah. ago. No, definitely. Yeah. These are a lot more flavorful. There's a lot more pop to them. They are really strong. Um, someone turned on the TV. Oh, um, <laughs> some kind of craziness going on here. All kinds of like 80,000 um, people just erupted here. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, I got to say, these turkey gravy ones, oh, these are banging. Those are awesome. Um, being there a limited time, um, I could say, I would say the thing is, I think only this one time a year I'd want them because they're so nuts. Yeah. But the flavor together totally works. But this time of year, what kind of rating are you going to give those? For a hobo Thanksgiving, I got to give them a full thumbs up. Without a doubt. For the chips. The Sprite, on the other hand, is kind of weird. I would, want, would not want to think, I think, drink this on its own because it's so cranberry. Mm -hmm. You know, by itself, it's kind of strange. Yeah, by itself, I'm not digging it. With vodka? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes. 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 My 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 son. You have a you have a heck of an idea there. There we go. And I'm I have so a, mystical. I was born two years before. And I have a fresh bottle right here. A little little, little bit of topper on there. Oh oh. There yes. we go. Here we go. You're a little tiny more. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh my god, and of course that and the thing is right off the bat, that already like kind of dilutes the scent some. Oh of course. Not like that old bottle of Odessa. Ooh, that's better. With some lime juice in it too, it'd be perfect. Oh. Needs a little lime on the end of it. Just to just to just to give it a little bit of a finish. My, oh my god. You wanna get rid of that nutrition in your vodka cranberry? <laughs> Replace it with Sprite. Yep. You're good in shape. You're in good shape. I like that right. a lot. Yeah, by itself it's nothing spectacular. I don't even think I can go a half on it because I wouldn't want to drink it on its own. As a mixer, it's got potential. And I'll go a half on yeah, it. It's I interesting. Check it out. As a mixer, though, there's potential. That puts it in the three-quarter range. What say you? Yeah, by itself, I would say about a five-eighths because mm -hmm. um, it's fine. It's mm -hmm. nothing I would want outside of this time of year, but it's okay. And mm -hmm. over some ice, it would be refreshing fine. Uh, with the uh, turkey gravy mm. chips, definitely a three-quarter or makes the whole meal together. Together it's a home run. Yeah, it's a home run, <laughs> but that's pretty darn awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe turkey makes you sleepy. It does make you sleepy, and, and before you're sleepy, yes. you gotta have dessert. You gotta lay down on the couch, watch your football game, and eat your pumpkin pie. Tear those open. No doubt. 7-Eleven already nailed the turkey one so darn good, so now we gotta see about this pumpkin pie. I don't know why sleep. we didn't get some Cool Whip, because I'm sure mm. dipping these in some Cool Whip would do them some justice. <laughs> I can't open this. They're being difficult. They're being trickery. There, there you go. I heard that pop. Woo! Oh, I got hit with some spices, just like when you walk into the grocery store this time of year. So they going heavy on the oh. heavy on the scent here on yeah, Thanksgiving lots Day. Lots of like uh, nutmeg or something going on. Some oh my god! Yes, some cinnamon. Definitely some pumpkin scent. Yes, heavy, heavy mm. on it. Look, kind of orange tint to them. Yeah, you know, but heavy on the scent. Just like how those smell like had that gravy seasoning going on. Oh my god. Okay. They nail they nail turkey. I would think pumpkin pie's gotta be simple. No problem. Let's That's a little see. greasy though. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Mmm. It's Oh, there's a weird there's a weird thing on the back end. That weird It thing. starts out like pumpkin pie. That weird thing is kinda of pumpkin y to me, so that's okay. But it's like a raw pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, there's a weird taste in the middle there. I like how they start. Mm -hmm. Then it gets weird. It's got enough saltiness to play off the sweetness too. Yeah. And I think they've added a little bit of a cream flavor to simulate the cool the cool -Aid. the cool whip as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think so too. That's pretty good. These aren't bad, but I obviously wouldn't eat these by themselves for any reason whatsoever. Yeah, got now, as as finishing our hobo Thanksgiving. They're not bad. Yeah. By themselves, I can't imagine why anybody would want them. And there's definitely something in the middle that has kind of, like you said, a raw pumpkin taste. And it's kind of off-putting. But they start strong. 
They're okay. They're not my favorite. I don't like them as much as those turkey ones. These, I'm just going to go two-thirds. Mm -hmm. They're weird. They're mm -hmm. odd. But check them out. They're very desserty. Mm -hmm. As long as you eat them with something else, yeah, I think you're okay. But eating these by themselves for any reason is strictly prohibited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> outside of that, okay, fine, whatever. The um, a okay. And as part of our Thanksgiving hobo celebration here underneath the bridge, I would say <laughs> yeah, that would work into the whole overall very happy evening. But by themselves, they're nothing but like a half. At yeah, at the very most, and then the winner is right here. The yeah. turkey dinner is damn amazing, and the sprite cranberry is fine. But all of it together, I mean, you know, if you ever watched Djibouti Doves, you ever seen Jerry <laughs> Curl? I'm sure Jerry <laughs> Curl would love these with some beans. <laughs> Put this all together, and I would say, as a full course meal for a hobo Thanksgiving, it's about a three quarters thumbs up. All together, all three items. Don't even all. need that yellow bread. Just need some beans <laughs> to go along with the rest of this. And you'll be quite fine. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of us. Thank you for being one of us all year long. Catch us tomorrow night down at the uh, Nova Pro Wrestling Show, 11th Dimension. Mm -hmm. So many awesome Survivor Series themed things going on down there. As well as the big Yay High Gresham rematch. Wow. Make sure you find us down there if you want to try whatever we got in our bag. And if you have anything you want us to try, find us down there too. Check us out on social media. Uh, Facebook, uh, join that. Click down there. Also, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram at Brandon Reich SAS at Hugh Will Mahoney and at the man behind the camera at a brick in the SAS as well as our affiliates uh, that join us sometimes at G Danzig 666 uh, at a waste of time over there at Jeff Smith and then uh, everybody else going down with the SAS. We're going to be there. What do you do after that? You know what you need to do. It's very simple. No matter what time of year it is, especially though on Thanksgiving Day, hashtag Snack Society all day, every day for all your snacking needs. We are thankful that you are here with us, and we're thankful that you keep watching and keep supporting us in 2017 and beyond. We do this because of you people, and when you help us out, you join that four horsemen of YouTube, baby. Watch out for Drunk Uncle Billy. In the oh. meantime, in between time, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thankful.